I actually paid a couple bucks more for the new coolant reservoir because it had hoses with it, but I don't think that hose is quite long enough. So I noticed my car has a little coolant leak, but it doesn't seem to be leaking anywhere significant. And then I found out this. This is pretty bad. This is the overflow reservoir. And it's just got a big hole in it. Luckily, this isn't pressurized like the one on my Cavalier or on my Malibu. So you don't really have to worry about it too much, but I'm going to replace it. Since it looks like I'm going to have to reuse the hoses, I'll just squeeze this little clamp. This isn't a hard clamp, it's just like a finger clamp. So we'll pull that hose right off of the old cap. There's that. To get this thing out, I could do it the right way and go inside and get my tripod and do it with two hands, but I'm just gonna do it with one. You push this little clip and then the whole thing pops right out. And then you spill coolant on your inner fender well. Oops, do it with two hands. Don't make a video. What do you say, is it time for some new coolant or what? The way this fits in here is pretty simple. There's this clip clamp thing right here, and then there's a little grommet right here, and you just put the new one in that. I'll show you the new one. They really wanted like 70, 80 bucks for one of these on Rock Auto, so I had to get it on eBay instead. It was about 22 bucks, and they shipped it from China in about a minute and a half. And here's the little peg that goes in the grommet, and here's the piece that goes in the clamp. So we'll put that in right now. The most important part of this process is making sure that the little peg goes in the hole. And then you just clip the other part into the clamp. Maybe I should have bought the more expensive one, because this one doesn't seem to fit that well. So I'm going to have to do a little tweaking on the clamp. So this is a real flimsy clamp, so I'm just going to squish it a little bit with my hands. And then this little tang tab I'll pull it out a little bit we'll see how that fits now now it fits in there really tightly and when I press it in the tab holds on to the little notch on the reservoir and so that's gonna hold in there and it's not gonna come out I don't really have time to get my tripod this morning so I did this off camera but I just put the old hose onto the new cap and now I'm gonna put the new cap in there for a second so you can see how the whole thing's supposed to look Minus my shadow. There's me, and there's how the whole thing's supposed to look. Get out of the way, me. Now there's a clip here where this hose is supposed to go in, but that clip is kind of old, so it's probably not going to hold that well. Maybe I'll zip tie that at some other point. And now I'm just going to carefully add some coolant. Until we're about at the fill line and I didn't spill a drop. And right on the side of the reservoir, there's a line that says full, and I'm right about at that line, and look at how clean that coolant is. Now I just pop the cap in place, and drop this hose down in between things where it's out of the way, and now I got a new coolant reservoir and no more leak. I mean, except all that coolant that I spilled when I took the old one out, oops. Thanks for watching.